Hello and welcome everybody to a new Let's Play episode in our Korea Let's Play series for the Chosen One achievement. Last episode, our buddy Russia here decided he wants to conquer some more Oirat lands, which meant Ming got pulled into the war and we got pulled into the war. We are sieging down lots of Ming land here. We have marked this, if you look here, we have marked this all as stuff that we want, so maybe Russia is nice and gives it to us. If not, there's at least Pauls and Ming's mandate down, which is nice. And also just bloodies them completely. They are pulling up ahead in tech though, which is super scary for me. They've gotten the Renaissance and they have global trade as well. Uh, all stuff that we don't have. We we are trying to get there though, so it's slowly spreading across our lands. We did put some very high um, development provinces into our lands here, hoping that global trade would spread. We've seen it spread here a bit and into Japan, so there there is a chance that it might spread. Hopefully it will, because it is Renaissance is almost in our capital. Global trade is almost in our capital, so hopefully we can get a war chest. Or development chest here basically tech chest whatever you want to call it to buy those two institutions institution chest yeah let's call it that and make sure that we can keep that tech parity with Ming because we still have a long way to go to conquer all of Ming it's going to take us a long long time especially since we only have 200 years to go so we need to make sure that the cup next couple of wars after this if we look here, Ming, no, uh, the other window. If we see how much war score it will take us, it will take us. If we take hundred percent war score, it's going to take us three, uh, thirteen wars to get all of Ming, and that's just going to be so nasty. We will just have to try and do that as quickly as possible. Probably ping ponging a lot, lots and lots of wars here, trying to make sure that we get that province here from Malaba um, somehow no idea how probably with some form of colonial colonialization or um, CB but yeah the uh, Orissa and Jampu are the ally are their allies so it's going to be interesting we will we will see um, if we can pull this off I am still pretty sure that we can we will just after we dealt with Ming basically we will just have to like conquer a lot and we have to conquer it quickly because if we look at uh, religion yeah this is no yeah religion we still have to gain all of this land not the Sunni bit here uh, luckily Pasai is, well we have to get this but not the Sunni bit which is good Pasai I think it's converting stuff maybe but yeah, we have lots of land after Ming that we need to get. Ming is the big showstopper though. We also have to turn against our allies here. They they should be quite a bit easier though, because they're only allied to us. Um, so yeah. We have a diplomat free though, so we should top up relations here. Okay, but with that, let's just hop into the episode again. There we go. Ming is once again on the move. Where are they on the move to? Here? Okay. Oh, they're trying to move uh, and defeat our army here. It's not looking nice at all. We will probably be able to make it, but we have no manpower whatsoever. So all of these battles will definitely be Pyrrhic victories, and I feel that we should hope for uh, Russia to declare the peace soon or just pull back uh, in order to conserve our strength which I think that is what we're going to do now so let's just pull back and get as much as we can of that uh, land here that we besieged before Okay, Russia is dealing with those rebels. Not sure if I like that, but that's okay. And we lost that barge. All 
Okay, they're going back there to take over that land again. So yes, all right. We can't even separate peace really with Oirat because that would just piss off Russia, which we don't want. But yes, I don't know what Russia is going for here, trying to get probably as much from Ming as possible. They've gotten back Nanjing here, so they're going for their capital, which they will get soon. So, yeah. I think we just need to pull back as much as possible here. And, oh, there we go. So, there's peace. Following terms, Russia will be forced to give Ming 10% of their monthly income. Uh, we will get lots of Ming money. Uh, okay, only lots of Ming money. I'm not sure I like this, but oh well. It will at least give us a proper war chest. Uh, let's divide these troops up. Here we go. Because we are quite a few thousand manpowers in the hole. Our entire reservoir of manpowers in the hole to be exact. Can we get some manpower from the nobility? Uh, we cannot. 11 more years. We have lost the effect of trading in tea. Alright, what can we get? Admin power. Yeah, let's get admin power. We can't really. We don't want that advisor. No, let's pay those 50 ducats. Okay. Russia. Russia got lots and lots of land. We are no longer considered a world power. How's that truce looking with Ming? We can move up one rank though to empire. So let's do that. We're now an empire. Great. And here. Okay. We're not quite there yet with the renaissance. Printing press, no way. Global trade soon though, which is good. Oh, we can get more states. Nice. Inner Mongolia. Alright. Let's just, let's go through these in order. Gobi. No. No. No, not really. Maybe, but no. Okay, definitely this. Even though it will cost us money. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely. Uh, not money, monarch points, what am I saying? No. No. Okay. No. No. And we will also bump up some cultures so that we get the most out of this. Uh, no. Easy no. No. There must be something that gives us more than 90. Okay, we are, I think, back here. Oh. Got that. Yeah. No. No. How many more can we do? 87 for Taiwan. No, not that one. Eastern Kanto. Okay, let's get that one. There we go. Alright, let's just try and get as many of those as possible. And here we had also, let's bump up some cultures, like all of these. Once we've gotten them as cores, I assume. Why can't we do that? Oh, we've already bumped up three. 
Oh, yeah, people are now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Diffusion of New World crops. Yeah, we do want to get support for colonialism, even though this does give us unrest. So, yeah, let's go do that. European merchants are increasingly common sight in the great ports of Asia, and the goods have in time come to penetrate even more distant markets in our country. Among the many new products trickling into our markets are the new crops of the Americas. Potatoes, or potatoes, tomatoes and corn could all likely find a place in our diet, but our farmers have been slow to adapt them. Let's get more support for colonialism. Let's also give these guys more land. They want about 2% more land. Yep. Nope, even more. Give them Japanese stuff. Yeah, ah, no, not you. Clergy. No, wait. Wrong window again. Clergy, I want you to get this. No, okay, get this as well. There we go. Alright. Can we get anything off of you? No, not really. Not really, not really. Well. We can wait until we can make that place into a core. We can no longer claim Beijing to be part of our realm. So let's keep those cores up on Ming. Beijing, definitely. And come on, let's get that core. There we go. When okay. Diplotech. So next time we get Diplotech we can finally get more promoted cultures, which is nice. And uh, we're so close to get renaissance. Colonialism. Yes, we can actually get colonialism. Nice. Okay, it's time to go and dip into the lawn fabric. There you go. We can get colonialism. We can't yet quite get the printing press. We have two loans, so yeah. Let's pull down our army maintenance so that we can pull those loans, uh, pay those loans as quickly as possible. We are a great power again. Ithaya is no longer a valid rival. Who are valid rivals for us? Ming. Let's get Ming then. Oh, you are suffering attrition. Let's pull you back here. What about you? Okay, we can get five more troops. But that's fine. Uh, we don't want to pay admin power, but oh, okay. Let's let's get them. Give them more autonomy. Granted monopolies. Oh no, our general is dead. Sadly. All right. Let's see how's that. Um. Okay. We can get Renaissance, and we can get this. So we will partly subsidize this with debasing our currency. Get six. Okay, let's get, what do we get from here? Development cost, no. Global trade, embrace. And now loans. There we go. Embrace. All right, good. We okay. How quickly do we want to get this down? There, that should be fine. For now, at least. Okay, we have plenty of loads. We have three thousand five hundred loads, and we need to make sure we're not paying for all these forts. But we did get a new merchant, so let's see how we want to do this. Could steer here. I mean, we do have forty percent of the Beijing node. Yeah, let's just collect here with that merchant. 
I don't want to micromanage trade that much. It's not one of like there's some campaigns where I like to do it and others where I just don't. And this is one of those where I'm just like nah, can't be bothered. Okay, our manpower is growing up slow but steady. Barbarism, religious harmony. Uh, no, we can't. Def Let's lose harmonization process. Okay, finally, we have tech. There we go. We're only now suffering a 50% penalty. Which I can sort of live with. Ah, less national tax. Which is great. Which one, which institution is the one that we do not have? We have colonialism. We don't have the printing press. Is it because Russia doesn't have it? Ah, it's slowly moving from Russia to us. So, from here. Like, this isn't the... Like, let's go somewhere like this. Okay, now it should, should uh, spread a bit quicker. But yeah, we are just waiting out a truce with Ming, which lasts until 29, so three more years. Yeah, we need to quarantine that province. You, let's go. You can go back when it's time for war, but otherwise just protect trade in Nippon. Okay, we're getting one more colony done soon. Oh, who's there? Oman is there. Do you want to snag this colony off of them? It's only six, seven. You know there's better, better stuff to be had. Harsh life in the ocean. Less sailors. Lose ferocity. Doesn't we don't really care about ferocity since we don't have uprisings anyway. Yeah, we might have to actually go to war against Oman since they managed to get the Nicobar Islands. Interesting, I haven't seen Oman colonize like this before. But yeah. There we go. Spice trade for Great Britain. Sadly, we, well, we will have a great, great air. Uh, not super great in terms of mill power, but we will have one, which is good. Let's just get a war chest up as well, from which we can then start repaying loans. Uh, it's um, 33 when we can do this. Oh, we can give them mono monopoly. Getting dangerously close, though, to being all uppity about stuff. Uh, empires, can we promote more? No. Ming is our rival. Can we do claims? No. How's our relationship with Russia? Oh, gains influence. Mm, not the one that I like, but oh well. We're at separatists. Russian particularists. Yeah, Russia is, isn't going well for Russia. And they will have a weak claim guy. But let's do this. That way they are less likely to break our alliance. Sorry, Yuri. Yeah, let's do this. Utsang, do this. Daiviet, what's up? Do this. So yeah, let's just wait for stuff to calm down a bit. Uh, no, we we need to get a catch up in tech. This is just something that needs to happen. Can get. 10k more troops though, which is good. Sadly, those cost money as well, and we have loans to pay off. Let's wait for Russia to deal with its uprising. 
Okay, that's also the alarm. Army organizer died. So let's buy a new mill. Tech guy reinforcement speed. Well, I guess that's good. Not the one that we'd like, but you can't always get what you want. Okay. In terms of money, our truce with Ming is up. So yeah, our truce with Ming is up, so stuff should definitely get interesting in that department. If we were to try and declare war on Ming, what would happen in terms of Russia's participation? They are definitely all on board for war, even if it's Mandate of Heaven, even if it is Mandate of Heaven. So, let's have a brief look at our uh, force limit and stuff. Russia has no manpower, but neither has Ming. They have about the same in force limit. Ming is purely made up of mercenaries though, and their mandate is going down, which can only be a good thing. So, in three years they're below 50, which we like. And we will just try and get as much of this land as possible. So probably something like the coast or like cut them off here. Um, probably want this bit here as well. Because like, let's see. Religion. This is all Sunni. But we want this bit here so that Russia doesn't go and grab provinces that we want. So probably go somewhere like here, 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 here. And then just do do something to get close to Yangzhou, something like that, probably. And hope that Ming slowly and painfully implodes. What is the revolt ris risk like, anyway? I mean... Yeah, it, they do have revolt risk. From corruption, mainly. Uh, no, no, that's autonomy. We can't. We don't know about the unrest. They do have unrest, which is good. We're all for that. Anyway, it, that is it for the episode. So as always, my name's been Sneaky Bard. You have been absolutely lovely. If you did like the episode, and uh, if you like what you see in the channel, do give me a like, do give me a subscribe, share the word. In the next episode, we will go to war against Ming again. And this time, hopefully, manage to get enough land so that um, our conquest uh, of Ming and the fulfillment of the Chosen One achievement progresses within the timeline that is given us. But until then, I will see you. Bye-bye.